Well, the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops is assembling tonight for its in-person fall meeting. It is taking place this week in Baltimore, and front and center on the agenda is church teaching on the Eucharist. During their online meeting in June, the bishops voted to draft a teaching document on the Eucharist. It is set to include a section on the worthiness to receive Holy Communion. The motion passed, but not before a heated debate. And while the document, the mystery of the Eucharist in the life of the church, will be considered, there are other items on the agenda. And joining us now to discuss this is Dr. Matthew Bunsen, executive editor and Washington bureau chief for EWTN News. Matthew, great to see you. Thanks so much for coming on. Good to be with you. So let's talk about this draft document on the Eucharist. Can you refresh our memory on what was said? Well, going back to June, in fact, even before June, uh, there was concern among the, the U.S. bishops about the state of affairs among American Catholics and the levels of belief, for example, in the real presence, and a lot of confusion and even scandal uh, among Catholics uh, who are receiving the, the Blessed Sacrament unworthily. A lot of attention on the part of the media and even some progressive Catholic media was on whether the bishop was going to be trying to keep Joe Biden from receiving communion. That was never the intention of the document, but that really created the atmosphere uh, for the debate uh, heading into June and has remained, I think, part of the discussion and certainly expectations of the part of the secular media heading into this meeting. Yeah, let's talk about the reaction from it. Yeah, well, the, uh, the reaction coming out of it was this uh, idea that there's a small group of bishops who are trying to keep Joe Biden uh, from receiving communion. As I was mentioning, the real concern of the bishops is, is a pastoral one. It's a theological one. And that is when we have, based on our own polling with Real Clear Opinion Research, that 50 percent of Catholics do not actually believe in the real presence of the Eucharist, this is a massive problem for us as a church. This document, uh, this pastoral document that the, the bishops are planning to vote on this week, is one step in trying to solve that problem. Yeah, and you know, you, we mentioned earlier that this will be in person the first time that's been in person from two years because of the pandemic. Can you talk about how that might change the dynamic? Well, the dynamic uh, is going to be significantly different uh, because they're together. Uh, as you say, it's the first time in two years. We, all of us, watched uh, the virtual uh, meetings of the bishops. Uh, as somebody said, it's like a meeting with 400 people on Zoom. It's hard to have that kind of back and forth. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, two things are worth noting. The first is that uh, on this day where the bishops began their discussions, the day was almost completely held in executive session. So we don't actually know what that discussion was. We have a good sense that it was focusing on this document on the Eucharist. But then when we move into the discussions, the debates, and then the votes over the next few days, that dynamic in the room is going to be very interesting to watch because this is the first time in two years they've been together. But also we have this secular media interest in this meeting in a way that we haven't for many years. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit more about that. Why such an interest by the secular media? Well, precisely because we have the second Catholic president in Joe Biden. Uh, who nevertheless holds positions that are diametrically opposed to the teachings of the church, especially on the preeminent position of uh, teachings on abortion, also of gender ideology, as Pope Francis calls it. He has just met with Pope Francis in Rome. He made certain claims about what was said to him. So there's really intense interest on the part of the secular media in, in so basically supporting Joe Biden uh, in his policies, which we see from the, the, the secular media. But uh, there's also that continuing discussion about where the bishops are as a body uh, and whether or not they are willing to actually deny someone communion, which we know they can't, but uh, the individual bishops have to grapple with this with their faithful in what is really a crisis point for American Catholicism, politically, socially, and spiritually. Yeah, we only have about a minute left. So much more we can talk about, but I know that you're going to be there this week. Yes. Um, I'm curious as to what, you know, you sort of have your eye on, because there's a lot of other things on the agenda as well, and what do you expect to happen? A couple of things. First, there's obviously this document, but there's a related Eucharistic document, and that is uh, an effort to spark what they're calling a Eucharistic revival with the aim uh, in 2020 of having a Eucharistic Congress for the country. That's going to be a big event in the life of the church, and it, and it really goes together with this idea of Eucharistic coherence that we have to have all of us do as Catholics. I'm also looking at uh, the support that's been given to several causes uh, for canonization coming out of Louisiana. Bishop Desotel is asking for support for a couple of causes, including a, a young girl by the name of Charlene Richard, uh, who died at the age of 12 and was called the Little Cajun Saint. And then all the way from Hawaii, there's a request to support a cause for canonization uh, for Ira Dutton, who worked with uh, St. Damien de Wooster and also St. Marianne Cope. So clearly, the island of Molokai, where the lepers 
suffered and died was this great powerhouse spiritually of Catholicism, but also of holiness. So those are one of the things that I'm really paying attention to. Yeah, and we're going to be checking in with you throughout the week. So excited to hear more from you. Looking forward to it. Okay, thank you so much, Matthew. Appreciate it.